This high-speed pursuit is taking place in Parma Heights, Ohio. This pursuit was cut short after an insane head-on collision. Officers suspected that the driver was drunk, but it turned out that he was suffering a medical issue. There were no injuries or arrests made at that time. This fiery crash takes place in Vero Beach, Florida. In that car? Yeah. We can't get him out? Down this side where we get to it. Which car is in here? Ma'am, can you hear me? Can you crawl this way? Crawl this way. Ma'am. Are you. Come on. Are you buckled in? Are you buckled in now? Ma'am, can you call out a little bit, please? Guys, help me pull! Get out in the seatbelt. I can't get out of the seatbelt. Linda, I need help! So hot. Be careful. Get that off, get that off! What? What is it? Get in the window. Get on the other here, side. here, here. Stop. Stop. I can't pull on her. Ow! Please. Oh, Linda, we can't get in there. Oh, I've been trying. Linda, back up. Linda, back up. Yeah. We can't get in there. We need the fire. I've been trying to pull on her. I can't get her out. Ma'am, lean this way. Give me your arm. Give me your arm. Ma'am! Lean. Let's oh, drag her away. Drag her away. Drag her as far as we can. Ma'am, stay with me. Hey. Hey, stay with me. Stay with me. 22 at 3. We have one out of the vehicle. We need a mask. Ma'am, ma can you hear me? Stay with me. Listen to me. Stay with me, ma'am. The sedan driver collided with the septic tanker, causing both cars to be engulfed in flames. The officer enters the raging inferno and drags out the woman, saving her life. This pursuit takes place in Moses Lake, Washington.
The runaway driver was caught a few blocks down by another officer. The driver claimed he ran because he couldn't go back to jail. Not only was he taken back to jail, but was fined by the city for damages. The officer didn't leave his car due to the high voltage electrical wires preventing him from leaving. This pursuit takes place in Brookhaven, Georgia. The driver and his four passengers were all apprehended as the officers were already looking for them prior due to two previous burglary reports. Officers couldn't comment more as the investigation is still ongoing. This pullover happens in Somerville, Georgia. How you doing, buddy? Pretty good. You are... Yeah, pretty good. I got some about your driving coming from all the... The driver was a 90-year-old veteran who was reported due to his driving. He mistook the gas for the brake pedal and rammed into the store. He was not charged but is now prohibited from renewing his license. This barricade is happening in Crockett, Texas. The Mitsubishi driver has been running and in the end drove over the spike strips, causing him to ram into the blockade. He's been charged with a third degree felony evading arrest, reckless driving, and failure to maintain a lane. This was taken place in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Sync will attempt to call 911. If you wish to cancel the call, please hold the phone button. The 911 assist call is being placed. Sync will speak first to the 911 operator before opening the line. Please wait. The other driver crossed over the median due to loss of control and rammed into the officer. The other driver was at fault for totaling his and the officer's cruiser. Despite being shaken up, there were no injuries. This skunk rescue happens in Detroit, Michigan. The officer cautiously removes the can on top of the skunk's head, saving it. He sprints and leaps out of the way to avoid getting sprayed. Luckily for him, baby skunks like in the video can't spray like the adults do.